Hi, Kathleen from Making Your Own Money, and this is day four. We're going to talk about evaluating. You know, everything you do in business has to have a purpose. It's either the return on the investment, or what I think, which is even more important, is the return on the time. But we have to evaluate. You know, was that working? Did we want to do it again? So one of the things we're going to talk about first is something that uh, is often overlooked, and that's the evaluating your team. Now, when we did operations and systems, we really didn't touch on this because it's a huge, huge part of your operation is your team. How do you build it? Uh, what, what are the requirements? What are the evaluation process after the fact? And that's what we're going to talk about today. You know, it's, it's really in their best interest. I'm talking about your employees or your VA or anyone who's your support staff. It's in their best interest for them to be evaluated on a regular basis. They have to know whether they're doing exactly what you want, whether they're performing the way you want them to, whether you have to tweak the whole expectation process. So that's something that I want you to really dig deep into and, and ask yourself, do I have a framework in which to evaluate the people who are on my team? We've got lots of different ways to do that. In fact, in, in our process, we talk about two primarily that stand out head and shoulders above many, many uh, out there uh, on the market. Some of them are very expensive and some of them are pretty cost efficient. I use them in my team. In fact, I've gone into businesses and when we revamped, we did a VIP makeover. Wow. When we looked at the team members and what their natural qualities were in the workplace, and we realigned their duties and responsibilities to fit their natural qualities, well, I gotta tell you, the harmony in the office went up huge. And the responsibilities didn't seem so large. They seem very, very doable. So I want you to think about that. How are you evaluating your team? How are you building your team? And on those regular evaluations, whether they're 60 days or six months, first of all, I think once a year is a long, long time. But for formal evaluations, that might be okay. But at a six-month point, you need to have a sit down and talk. Just ask casually, now, how's it going? How's life? How's life in your work life? And they'll be honest with you. We also do 360 evaluations, and that's where everyone within your team gets to look at the performance of everyone else and put in their two cents. And it's interesting, when, you, when that happens, um, they're pretty kind to one another. You know, you get honesty, you get the integral aspect of what they're thinking about uh, each and every day with the people they work with or, or share a task or a project with, and it's very telling. Um, you, you really weed out the negative people quite quickly. And then you also discover problem solvers. So the 360 process is really uh, one that I think is, is hugely value, valuable, and we, we use that in our companies as well. So the other thing that we're going to talk about a little bit is the marketing. How do you evaluate your marketing process? Well, first of all, you know, you have to look at what is the return. Did I actually produce a project, whether it be a marketing plan or whether it be a one-off project, that actually brought customers or clients into my uh, establishment or onto my practice? And, and is it a sustainable customer or patient in my practice because sometimes uh, some of the processes that we go through, especially in marketing, they might have a one-off result. Well, that's not necessarily what we want. Remember, we are relationship building. So we want to make sure that whatever we do has a connection and that we get some feedback through that connection. So you can tell whether or not you're building a relationship by the communication that's happening between you and your customer. Are they responding to some of your, your requests on your Facebook or on your uh, LinkedIn? Um, if you put out a survey, do they actually respond to it? And, and are you allowing them the format to be heard? And that's one of the ways that you can tell whether or not you're building that relationship strong and it's going to have sustainability. Now, there's a lot of other things about evaluations. We can evaluate whether or not your rent is too high, whether or not your utilities are in line. If you have a bricks and mortar store, that's really critical because you've only got a certain percentage of gross profit available and uh, your, your cost of goods is important and your occupancy costs are important. And of course, you want to make sure that that bottom line is nice and healthy. So. I, can't, I wish I could go into all of this today, but it's impossible to do in, in a quick little video like this. But I want you to think about those numbers. And uh, with your profit and loss statement, remember we talked about that with numbers, um, you can evaluate whether or not you're in line. Every industry has a standard 
And you have to look at that and say, am I below or above that, uh, that standard um, expectation to, to be either spending or achieving within my industry? And, uh, and that's a really good litmus test that you can see whether or not you're succeeding and whether you're getting one step ahead. And quite frankly, if you take some of these uh, methods that we're talking about, evaluation is really one thing. Reviewing what you've done, looked at the outcome, looked at the effort, and what was the difference? What was your profit on a project? What was your profit on a marketing plan? So that profit doesn't necessarily always have to be dollar driven. It could be a customer count or it could be relationship driven. So I want you to, again, think a little bit differently. You know, I'm all about stretching and changing the way you think about your company. But as a CEO, you need to look at every aspect of it and see how does this fit within my overall plan. And that blueprint is what's going to carry you through. So once you evaluate, next the thing, pardon me, the next step is to really make sure you have that CEO hat on and we're going to talk about that tomorrow. So I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite parts. So make sure you tune in and check us out. If you're ready to get involved on a more deep, regular basis, think about that eight-week course that we've got offered. You do it at home, on your own, at your own pace. Make sure that you have, uh, have a chance to check it out and see whether or not it's going to be right for your company, your business. This is Kathleen at Making Your Own Money just for you. Take care. Have a great day.